I just needed a change of scenery, so we're sitting on the couch. Why not? I'm gonna do palettes and eyeshadows. I also have brushes. I think I'm gonna be selfish and keep them just in case. I do, like I said, I used to do makeup. So I do have a whole kit full of brushes and you never know. I might get rid of like just a handful I don't really like or maybe I don't really see myself using in the future, but I think I'm gonna hold on to those those yeah just starting off strong i think i'm gonna get rid of all of these lashes a lot of these lashes are well some of them are unopened but a lot of these lashes are opened and cut to my eye um like these are gross i'm just gonna throw those oh my god i used to love these i don't wear lashes like this anymore they look like fucking caterpillars that's just my vibe back then you know like those, but these are unopened, these are unopened, these are unopened. Hmm, I'm just gonna give them to my sister because my sister will always take my lashes. This was in there. Oh, this is opal. Why isn't this with my other highlighters? Okay, fun fact, this was my first high-end highlighter ever. I got this for my birthday one year. My grandma got it for me. I remember like I wanted it so bad and it, I just didn't want to spend the money on it because it was so expensive I think I got it for like my 23rd or my 24th birthday I see like that has sentimental value I have to keep that let's do palettes so this I like this but for some reason it was in a drawer in the closet I don't, I don't use it like I never use it I'm just gonna get rid of it Ooh, see this is gorgeous this is the sigma warm neutrals volume two i'm not ready to part with this one i'm gonna keep it it, it has like the berry tones that i really like just stunning okay so i'm gonna tell you just right now that i'm keeping all my naked palettes i do not use them anymore but they have sentimental value to me um the Naked 2 was actually my first high-end palette that I ever bought myself. And I don't know if you can tell, it is beat to hell. I don't even know if these eyeshadows are still good, but I remember just feeling like such a badass when I got that package in the mail. There was this brand, not a brand, a website called beauty.com. I think it has since shut down and they had like a $10 off. I don't know, I have a really good memory by the way, in case you guys are like, what the heck? How do you remember all this? I have a really good memory. Not so good since I had my son, but it's still pretty good like with old memories. I just very distinctly remember having a $10 off coupon and I was like, okay, I'm going to bite the bullet and buy the naked palette. And I remember I was obsessed with it and I also got one for my best friend for her birthday. Matthew got me this for our first Valentine's Day together. This is the original naked. I think this is like one of the first cult palettes that ever came out. Oh, do you guys remember this shade Sidecar? See, I've always been like a taupey silver-ish girl. That's so pretty. This one was the one I used the most. The thing about me is like, I love me a good warm neutral, but I am a whore for these berry tones. Like I just love uh, mauves and berries. Okay, see some of them are, I hit pan. Some of them are like really, really deep in there. This one I used to use as liner. A funny story about this is I got this for uh, my secret Santa from work. And when this came out, it was sold out everywhere. Nobody could get their hands on it. And Matthew went to like four different Macy's. He finally found it. And then when he heard I got it from work, he was so upset <laughs> because he wanted to get it for me. And I, I had already gotten it from somebody else. But anyways, just a sweet little story. So I'm definitely going to keep those. And I also want to keep this because this also has sentimental value, even though it's like it's done. This, I got, I remember I bought this after I bought the Naked 2. So this was my second palette ever. And I only remember that because I bought them back to back and I bought them off that same website. But look at how much I use this one. That's crazy. So I've got to keep these. I, I'm keeping them for like collector's purposes. I'm a collector. Oh, and then the Naked Heat. Can you tell I'm a like Urban Decay Girl. Um, I don't feel like I got as much use out of this one because by the time this one came out, I was like already deep into the makeup world. I think I was already freelancing when I bought this. And, um, you know, it's hard to 
when you have so much makeup and eyeshadow palettes, it's hard to use them. I used to put this in my kit a lot, so definitely gonna keep those. I don't think I told you guys, I burnt the hell out of my forehead. Um, I burned it right before my trip to go visit my best friend, my little mini vacation I took. So like the whole week I had to wear my bangs down because I had this huge burn and it's finally healing. Anyways, back to the show. I think I'm gonna keep this too because this is like just a really good quality palette for mattes and it has warm and cool tones. I just, I don't, I don't want to get rid of it. These older ones that have kind of been like, they have like cult followings and have been around for a while. I'm probably going to keep those and get rid of some of my newer ones. I want to take off my Invisalign because my jaw hurts so bad, but I know I can't. Actually, yes, I am. I have this Pure Festival palette. I think I've only used this a handful of times. I'm going to get rid of it. I don't ever see myself using this. Saharan by Juvia's. I did really like this palette when I first got it, but I just don't reach for it. The quality's there. I just, I don't know. It's not one that stands out to me where I reach for it. I think because I like to do shimmer on the eye still. I know people are really into matte now, um, a, like a mono, more monochromatic look, but I'm still really into shimmers on the lids and these shimmers just, they don't really stand out to me. So like, even though the mattes are really pretty, I'd still have to dip in for like a dark brown and like a transition shade into something else. I think in my last declutter, I kept this because for some reason I had sentimental value to this palette. I don't remember what it was. I think this was like the first makeup tutorial that I did on YouTube that kind of went like viral. I got like 10,000 views on it, which is nothing in compared to other people, but I kept it because it, it was like my first viral video, I guess, but I don't use it. And I just, I don't need it. Huda Beauty. This is the Desert Dust Palette. My sister got me this for my birthday one year. I think I'm going to give this away. I just, I don't use it anymore. I did use it a couple of times. I do remember liking it, but I don't use it anymore. So I'm going to give it away. This is Violet Voss, All of You Forever. What a cute name. I must have got this in a BoxyCharm or something. I'm pretty sure those are just swatched. I don't think I've actually ever used this. Because none of the mattes are swatched. Typically, I'll swatch shimmers, but not mattes. I really like green. If I do like a color color, I'm pretty sure I said this in my last video. I always go for greens. And those berries are calling my name. And like I said, I am just a sucker for berries. So I think I'm going to keep that one. I just forgot I had it, I guess. Colourpop, you had me at hello. <sighs> me and her have had a good run but I just don't reach for it anymore. I could see my sister using something like this. She'd probably get more use out of it than me, so I'm gonna let her go. Love this. This is the Sassy Siennas from Dose of Colors, and although I forget I have this sometimes, it's just, I don't know, a really good universal palette to have. It's so good for travel, and I just forget about it, but I'm definitely gonna keep it because that's a palette that I really love. Oh! I didn't know I had this. I was looking at this at Sephora. I remember seeing these at Sephora and I've always wanted to try Natasha Denona. I'm actually going to keep this and I'm, I'm going to put it on my desk because I've always wanted to try her eyeshadows. I just haven't because like I said, I'm not trying to buy any more makeup. Could not even tell you where I got that from. Okay, I'm going to definitely keep that. I am, however, going to get rid of this. This is from Pat McGrath. It just like, it's not an ideal palette. It's more of like a standout there's not any mattes. Like, I think this one is the closest to matte, but it's actually a satin. And even though, like, the shades are good, I mean, those are just pigmented. I just, I never use it. I don't think I'll ever use it. As the eyeshadow swatches stop me in my tracks. Uh, yeah, but if I have to dip into too many things, I'm probably just not going to reach for it that often. I'm definitely going to let this one go. Now, I saw this on Ulta. I remember buying this and it was super cheap. It was only like 10 bucks and I remember thinking how cute it was, but I wasn't wowed by it. I didn't really like it. I don't know why I didn't like it. I just remember not being very impressed with the shades, I think. I mean, ColourPop quality is good. That glitter is pretty, but like, I don't wear glitter anymore. It takes me back to like my club days and Mom doesn't go to the club anymore. This Lorac Mini Pro Palette. I think I'm gonna get rid of this too, just because I have this in other palettes. I'm not a fan of the tone of this matte. 
So if I wanted to use this as like a shimmer or a lid shade, it's just really yellow for me. I'm not a fan, so I'm gonna let go of it. And I don't really use these really deep, warm red shades anymore, uh, nor do I use like the orangey tone. So I don't, I'll, I'll let that one go. Okay, this is uh, Artist Couture Caliente. Exposes my mess in the back. I must have gotten this in a boxy charm too. That is Gorgina. It looks intense, but it's actually quite subtle. I think I'll keep this one. I gotta keep one fun one. These Jaclyn Hill palettes had so many controversy around them. I did a whole video on them. I actually did a giveaway with them at the time. I personally did not have a bad experience with these palettes. I quite like them. Um, I used to take this one in my kit and I did a ton of brides with this because it has like the berry tones that a lot of brides, at least a lot of the ones that I did liked. I think I'm gonna keep this one. I That was like the one that I used the most. I love this one as well. I love the green. I don't think I have anything quite as unique as these here. At least, and I love this shade. That's one of my favorites. And sometimes I just reach for a cool tone. I'm gonna keep this one too. So this one I'll, I'll let go because I have these, I know, in a hundred other palettes, um, especially like the Naked Heat. I think this has like all these shades or something similar. And this was the one I used the least. I don't know why, so I'll let that one go. I have this from Dominique Cosmetics, Celest Celestial. I can't pronounce that word, Celestial. Celestial Thunder. Ew, I must have got this in a boxy term too. Um, this is pretty. However, I see myself only using like this shade, maybe this shade, and maybe these two. I'll never use these. So I will give this one up. ColourPop Sweet Talk palette. I already know I'm going to keep this one. I already know. I use it so much. I've used it so much. I will continue to use it in the future. This is one of my favorite top coats of all time. It's just so beautiful. So I will be keeping that. This is Ace Butte, Butte. I never knew how to pronounce this brand. Bronzed in Paradise. Oh, this is a bronzer palette. I've never used this. I'll probably never use this. My sister would love this because she loves a matte face and she can't use all the shades, but she could probably use at least two, at least two, maybe three. So I'll give that to her. And this is Violet Voss Essentials 2. I think I got this in a boxy charm too. BoxyCharm used to send some good makeup. I already know I'm gonna give this one away because I'll just never use those shades. I don't even think I've ever used this palette. I've probably only swatched it. This Gemini palette from Melt Cosmetics. It's just so pretty and the mattes are like immaculate. I'm not a fan of the shimmers. There's only two. I think the green's okay. I tried to like this and I, I just don't like that shade. Something about the texture of it just doesn't work for me but the mattes are so good. I'm gonna keep this one. I don't even think I've ever opened this. Pro Fusion Highlight and Contour One. Why the fuck did I buy this? I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm very particular about my highlight and contour and I've been using the same products for years, so I don't know why. I don't know how that came into my possession. This is the LA Splash Golden Gatsby. I had my eye on this palette for the longest time before I finally bought it. And it still gives me chills when I look at it. I mean, just so shiny. Okay, yeah, we're definitely gonna keep that. I have Anastasia Modern Renaissance. And then I also have the Prism palette. I think I'm gonna give this one away, but I'm gonna keep Modern Renaissance because this was my favorite, favorite, favorite palette that they ever came out with. I'm not ready to part with her. Now these two I'm definitely keeping. I really like to keep collabs, especially if I love the collab. If I'm a big fan of it, I'm just not gonna let it go, especially because you typically can't get them. The Jaclyn Hill and Morphe original palette is just, to me, still one of the best palettes that ever came out. I know people have an issue with Jaclyn Hill and that's fine. I don't care what your beef is with her. I don't have beef with this palette. <laughs> that's all I know. So I'm definitely keeping this. I got so much use out of this. This was like my number, 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 number one I would use on brides. Like sometimes I would just take palettes with me when I was freelancing. It would show me an inspiration picture and then I'd show them what I had. And like most times people were picking that palette for me to use. I just have so many pictures on my Instagram using that palette, especially on brides. So I'm gonna keep that and I'm definitely keeping this. This is Raw Beauty Chrissy's collab with Pure. 
the mats are so pretty this golden ticket shade is gorgeous but i love this side and even though i didn't really get any use out of this it's there i love this shade um so if i ever do feel like doing a crazy look one day i have the option all right i've got two more palettes and then i have a couple more on my cart i'll grab those but this is from alamar cosmetics i already know i'm gonna keep this to me this just screams summer oh i love this shade oh my god oh it's so good it reminds me of like miami I can't get rid of this. Look at that. That's just such a beautiful palette for like a fun summer time. I don't know if the brand is Hip Dot or if it's Zion. I must have got this in a boxy charm because I don't even know what this is. Ooh. I mean, it feels really buttery, but realistically, I'm never going to use this. I just, I don't use these shades. So I will give this one away. These are ones that I rotate through on my cart. So what I try to do is I try to rotate out my eyeshadow palettes, but I just forget because I'm always in a rush when I get ready these days. And I keep like my favorite ones, like my go-tos on my cart. And then like I'll rotate out a fun one, but I ha just haven't been doing a good job of that. Okay. But I do have this C palette. I made this myself. These are all MAC and Makeup Geek. And I've had this for years. It's just like one of my favorite things to look at. So I'm keeping this one. I'm definitely going to be keeping this because we all know that this brand is no more. But also I really love the palette. You can see my hit pan on this one. And I love the mattes. They're just so buttery i love this row the sequin with like the little flecks of shimmer it's so beautiful i love the giant mirror so i'm definitely keeping that this dose of colors friendcation palette this is one of my favorites this was also one i used to take when i did uh freelance makeup because it's just like one of those palettes it has a lot of good tones and i love it i love berries i'm just a fan of berries so i actually keep that one on my cart too um, this is one of my newer favorites. This is ColourPop Stone Cold Fox. And this is more of a cool tone palette, but I go between warms and cools fairly frequently. Like, it just depends on what my mood is. So when I do something cool toned, this is just perfect for me. It's, again, like, kind of berry toned. Obviously, I have a style. Oh, this one from Dose of Colors, Smoky Soiree. Gorgeous. It's, like, so pretty for a like more dramatic look and then it has everything you need maybe minus a highlight shade so i'm keeping this okay this one i'm gonna get rid of this is the jaclyn hill morphe divine neutrals and there's nothing wrong with this eyeshadow palette the quality is fine for me i just never use it okay, the mattes are fine the shimmers are just okay i just I never find myself doing looks with these like really warm shades anymore. I kept it on my cart to try to make myself use it and I still didn't use it. This Milani, this is the Ungilded Loved Mattes and I never use this either. Even though the quality is really good, I just never find myself reaching for it. I don't know. It didn't wow me enough, I guess, so I'll let that one go. This Sultry Palette from Anastasia. I'm gonna keep this one. And the reason I'm going to keep it is because the shimmers are just out of this world. This Rose Quartz, Pearl, Cyborg, and Cinder, irreplaceable to me. And I do use it for like a more dramatic cool tone eye. So I'm going to keep this one. This Lorac Pro Palette. This is Fairy Forest. This is pretty but I just never find myself reaching for it. I don't know, the shades don't excite me. I think the one that I used the most out of this was probably this green one, and I'm keeping an another palette with green, so I'll let this one go. And then this Ace Butte Vintage Dawn. Ooh. Have I used this? Like my gut is telling me I'll never use it, but my heart is telling me to keep it. I'll never fucking use this. I'm gonna get rid of it. I don't think I'll use it. Obviously I didn't show you guys like what's on top of my desk, like my top stuff right in front of me because if it's sitting out, it's stuff that I'm, I use on a regular basis. So that I think is it. Not too bad. I'm, I'm getting rid of like a good amount of palettes, all these and 
all these and these. So not too shabby. I'm pretty proud of myself. Next thing you guys should see is my clean with me, which I am just fucking dreading with everything in me. Like I know it has to be done, but God, I'm dreading it. 